Okay, so have you ever wondered who will win in a battle? DCU Wonder Woman versus MCU Hella? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys who exactly is going to win this battle. Let's get into it. And of course, before we get into the video, make sure you slap the cheeks on that like and subscribe button. And of course, hit the bell. Okay, guys, so I decided to do this new method that I'm trying out right now. So I'm going to be doing how powerful videos on each contestants that are going to be going against each other in a battle video and then incorporating those videos into the battle video. Work smarter, not harder. Born on the mascara, Diana was raised in a land of paradise, hearing tales of the Amazonian's great task with defeating the corrupt god of war, Ares, ushering in a new era of peace in the world. Upon coming of age, Diana began pursuing the life of a warrior. Despite her mother's objections, determined to serve, she ultimately trained with her aunt in secret. This, however, was soon discovered by her mother, but begrudgingly, the queen accepted Diana as a warrior and ordered Anthiope to train her better than any other Amazonian. Wonder Woman has superhuman strength, speed, agility, durability, and a healing factor. She also has her magical weapons, like the Lasso of Truth, the Sword of Athena, and a godlike shield and bracelets. Both are extremely durable to massive amounts of damage, but her bracelets has the ability to send out a powerful pulse that can even send characters like Doomsday and Steppenwolf flying back. She's also extremely skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and melee weapons. She is so skilled that she's considered to be one of the best fighters in all of the DCEU, if not the best. And even though she is exposed on her top half of her body and her legs are pretty exposed, the heels that she wears and the upper body armor that she wears is still extremely durable. And I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed that I haven't mentioned anything about that failure of a movie, Wonder Woman 1984. That's because a lot of the powers that, you know, they put in there kind of cease to exist. So I will not count them in this How Powerful is Wonder Woman video. And a lot of the strength and speed feats have already been shown in the first Wonder Woman. Most, if not all of the feats that she accomplished in Wonder Woman 1984, we already have seen that been done in Wonder Woman. So just how powerful is DCEU's Wonder Woman? Well, Wonder Woman is able to effortlessly beat regular humans like they're nothing, swinging and knocking them back with ease. Climb walls by creating handholds with her strength, punching into the rock with ease. Flips over military jeeps. Effortlessly kill groups of parademons. Takes a bunch of falling debris onto herself. One shots a clock tower. Lifts a World War One era tank with ease. Cut cars in half. Block bullets with her bracelets. Speed blitzes Steppenwolf. Tank explosions that was stated to destroy a city block. Able to catch her sword while falling, but Flash runs and pushes it back into her hands while everybody else was rendered in complete slow motion. Takes attacks from Doomsday and just smiles, and then stopped one of Doomsday's attacks by blocking it with her sword and proceeded to cut his hand off. Tanks being hit with heat vision by Doomsday and restrained him with her lasso. Takes attacks from Steppenwolf and for the most part don't be phased. Takes full on headbutts from Superman and gets right back up and even manages to beat and kill the God of War Ares who was previously Obviously killing most of the gods of Olympus. Oh yeah, and also, Ares is the same guy that severely injured Darkseid and practically killed him. Yeah, that guy. She beat. Okay, so before we get into the how powerful she is part, let's put in some honorable mentions. Okay, so that was Wonder Woman, but what about Hela? Hela was the Asgardian goddess of death and the former executioner of Asgard, imprisoned in hell for a millennia by her father, Odin. Hela was only released from her prison in the wake of his death and went to restore her power over Asgard while simultaneously engaging in a series of encounters with her younger brothers, Thor and Loki. Gaining her power from Asgard, Hela planned to rule Asgard and create an Asgardian empire. When all the people of Asgard refused to bow 
to her, Hela set about massacring Odin's armies and enslaving their people, while also recruiting Scourge to be her own executioner in the process. Eventually, Thor then returned with a newly formed Revengers, and then re-engaged with Hela, which had then resulted in Loki unleashing Surtur, who then destroyed Asgard by finally causing Ragnarok and killed Hela as a result. Okay, so that was Hela's origins, now let's talk about her powers and feats. Well, Hela has superhuman strength, speed, agility, durability, and vulnerability, and a pretty ridiculous healing factor. She also has the ability to spawn multiple necro swords that she can use at any moment she wants to, while also manipulating the size of the necro swords itself. Okay, so what about the feats? Well, for starters, she was able to stop Thor's hammer in the palm of her hand, mid-throw. And she said, no, I'm not done. She fucking broke the hammer, crushed it into bits. Well, don't it seem like we're off to a good start? Easily defeats Thor and Loki while traveling through the Bifrost. And when she arrives on Asgard, she immediately kills warrior Asgardians, and then proceeds to absolutely disrespect the Asgardian army. I mean, she killed all of them. Hammers a hole in the floor of an Asgardian temple and then proceeds to jump down into that temple and land feet first unscathed. Since Hela is, you know, the goddess of death, she used a small portion of the eternal flame to bring back and control all dead Asgardian warriors buried beneath the temple. Pulls down a massive gate entrance, defeats Thor yet again, cuts one of Thor's eyes, takes Thor's most strongest lightning blast, proves to be too much for even awakened Thor and Valkyrie, and last but not least, she assisted Odin in taking over nine realms. And oh wait, that's not it. I almost forgot about this part. She took out the whole fleet of Valkyries with ease. Okay, so who wins? Well, I'm not really sure. Wonder Woman has that striking power on deck. She's going to be able to keep Hela off her feet constantly if she just really wants to if she just wanted to speed blitz hella she's gonna be able to do that hella is not as fast as she you know could have been if they actually tried most of the characters in the mcu are not that fast in reaction speed and in, in combat speed yeah they're like hypersonic possibly but that ain't nothing compared to someone like Wonder Woman that's pretty much stat and above. She's on par with Kryptonians from the DCEU, so she has that speed advantage here. The only time I believe it becomes a problem is when Hela starts throwing those building size necro swords. And honestly, I feel like Wonder Woman would be able to dodge that, especially if she manages to go in her rage mode. She's just gonna be trying to gun for Hela. And also, you gotta remember that this is a Wonder Woman that's 10 times stronger than the one we seen in the original Wonder Woman. And honestly, my opinion on this battle kinda changed a little bit when I looked at how how Wonder Woman did against Steppenwolf because yeah Steppenwolf was actually putting up a really good fight against Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman was clearly not as strong as Steppenwolf which is kind of odd because I don't think what Steppenwolf was doing where he was not fighting the Justice League was that impressive and also it seemed like Wonder Woman's sword was having a struggle with getting through Steppenwolf's armor and that definitely will factor into this fight because Hela wears armor but Hela was able to get stabbed by regular Asgardian weaponry. So in my opinion, this is how I think it's going to play out. So after a long battle, Wonder Woman is going to keep trying to speed blitz Hela because she's going to realize that's pretty much like the only thing that works and keeps her off of her. And then eventually she will go in for a major blow that she knows for a fact will be able to take Hela down for the count. And I think she's going to have to do something like how... Athena did the crow, but that's if Hela doesn't think of doing something like that before. Her weapon seems to be more flexible. So I just watched this battle on Danko's channel and I kinda don't agree. I mean, while the MCU is not slow, speed does take a factor of any fight that you ever put a character in and I'm pretty sure he even understands that. And he even said that Wonder Woman is faster. And I think that takes a bigger toll on his battle than anything. She also has a very great defense against sharp projectiles. Like she was able to create a magical barrier around herself. And also if she put her gauntlets together, I'm pretty sure that will be able to completely obliterate the projectiles that Hela will be able to send at her. If she already has something to defeat that part, what is really stopping her from actually beating Hela? If she's faster, Hela won't be able to tag her. And yes, while Hela was able to send her projectiles much faster than Ares was able to do it, Wonder Woman is still casually 
occasionally destroying those, so you don't even really know her peak of what she can certainly do. And saying that Hela is stronger than Wonder Woman, I can agree with you on that. She most likely is stronger. She's also more durable. But we cannot lie, Wonder Woman has the better striking power here because it keeps certain enemies like Hela from actually catching their grounding. Hela was able to take multiple piercings attacks too, but she was still able to get pierced. That means that Wonder Woman's sword will be able to pierce her. I mean, I've never seen Wonder Woman bleed. Not in Wonder Woman, not in Wonder Woman 1984, not in BVS, and certainly not in Justice League, even though she needed a whole team to back her up. So it's definitely some inconsistency over in the DC department, but I think it's more consistent than what MCU is doing. So I think in my opinion, Wonder Woman takes the W with high difficulty. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell, and I'm out. Peace.